No charges tonight for the driver of this pickup truck who continued to drive through protesters last night, even as they pounded on the hood of the car and ran alongside it. We first told you about this just moments after it happened as breaking news last night at 6. Today, our Derek Lewis talked with some of those protesters who say they're not surprised, but this won't stop them. Protesters fighting for change found themselves fighting traffic Monday night. They tried to stop a pickup truck from driving straight through them. We had the street blocked off. We had marshals that were put in place and trained um, to keep to keep us safe in various ways. About 100 people were out protesting in front of the Durham County Jail, many of them standing in the street without a permit. Protests in general are just a symbolic way of showing that the people are not happy. On Tuesday, police said the driver will not be cited for pushing his truck through the crowd. I'm not surprised that uh, a 4x4 four four could run through 12 human beings and the cops not even flinch. In an email, Councilwoman Jillian Johnson asked police if there are any plans to pursue charges, adding, it is my understanding that simply standing in the road does not give drivers the right to intentionally run you over. When asked why the protesters didn't have a permit, Jackson says her group, Durham Beyond Policing, does not work with police. Yeah, we don't, we don't condone police assistance. She says she doesn't know what charges the driver should face, but this incident is not going to stop future protests. In terms of moving forward, um, we're going to continue to show um, resistance um, because we have no choice. And no one was injured during this incident, but a bill just passed in the House last week that says a driver who hits a demonstrator on a public street during a protest could avoid any liability for that person's injuries. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina.